Hey, welcome back to assignment 92. Um, in this assignment, we'll be analyzing urban walking distances by creating uh, maps of uh, pedestrian sheds uh, or called ped shed in a way to promote downtown environment. So the first step is to start with uh, adding the data from um, from the Pittsburgh folder. There's a 15222 which is actually the zip code. I'm gonna select all of the files in there, click on add. So once I have that, the next step is to add the rivers from the Allegheny County uh, folder which is under data. Uh, the rivers from here. So once I do that, I can essentially get started with my analysis. So let me do some cosmetic things which might or which might which might help. Um, I don't know. And then the streets will be slightly toned down. Curbs can be actually the curbs can be even more toned down. Rivers will be blue. And then the buildings will be grey. Or maybe beige or something like that. So once I have my base, I'm gonna, the first step is to actually um, understand the radii. So what is the radius for the buffers here? So they say a uh, use a buffer radius the the length that can that an adult can comfortably walk in two minutes at three miles per hour. So three miles I know is. Um, so let's start a calculator. So one mile is 50 to 80 feet. So I'm gonna go back to my calculator and I'm gonna multiply it with three star 50 to 80. So that's 15840 feet, 15840 feet. Uh, that will be covered by within an hour, which is 60 minutes. So for to in order to calculate how much a, uh, an adult can walk in two minutes, I'm going to multiply with that with two and divide that by 60, which will give me 528 feet, which is actually an adult can walk uh, comfortably within within a within a two minute uh, time, two, two minutes of time. So, and the next step is to identify those streets. Uh, which are actually with uh, the two main streets which are the Smallman Street and Penn Avenue so I'm gonna open attribute table and start by ascending where I'm going to select uh, Penn Avenue I'm gonna press and hold shift uh, or control and select all Penn Avenue streets And then I'm going to select all small man streets. So you need to have 58 features just to be sure. So let's see what the selection looks like. So those are the streets, which are the main streets. So we will calculate a buffer from these uh, two streets. The input features will be streets, obviously. And then we'll call, we'll see, save this under assignment 92 perhaps. 9 dash 2. And then call it streets buffer. Um, so we know this is 528 feet. And then I'm going to dissolve everything. Click on okay so now it should give us a nice buffer around these two streets that we need that we you know 
uh, the two main streets uh, which are the sort of like where the, where all the theaters and you know galleries are so um, so the next step is to calculate um, a the same buffer distance around all the restaurants so I'm gonna click on geo processing click on buffer I'm gonna drag and drop my restaurants for input features and I'm gonna select the same name What, 528 feet and click OK so the resultant buffer uh, would give me a two minute uh, walking distance from all the major restaurants so the the pet shed or pedestrian uh, shed is actually a combination of these two buffers so all you need to do is uh, combine these two buffers by so let's click on search and type in union so I'm gonna click on union analysis uh, or well I'm gonna use union I guess so I'm gonna drag and drop restaurants buffer and street buffer and then I'm going to join them as call this as pet shed uh, click on ok so now I got my uh, pet shed which is actually a combination of these two buffers essentially I can go here and change the buffer to a light green and maybe perhaps apply properties some, uh, some kind of like a transparency so that people can see what's underneath these uh, pedestrian what is actually accessible within within this pedestrian uh, zone so that's how you create your pedestrian buffers so to speak and now all you need to do is create a uh, layout and then add some titles um, and then export this map as a JPEG so uh, so I'm gonna go to the layout view I'm gonna snap this to my guides I'm gonna zoom to pet shed and then I'm going to uh, insert a title insert text box actually and then type in the map name and I'll give it a name and then insert a legend insert actually you don't need a legend probably like a uh, scale bar so that people know what you're talking about scale bar and here we'll format the scale bar number of divisions will be two number of subdivisions will be one let's see how that looks actually make the divisions two subdivisions as one and then adjust the division width to um, actually make the units to feet apply and change the feet to 500 maybe perhaps a thousand feet uh, still pretty small so I'm gonna use 2000 feet so that looks good so that's about 2000 feet and then I'm gonna insert a north arrow to the map if you want you can label uh, the streets and stuff a smarter way would be to actually add a base map for streets uh, to the map and then get all the streets and the context uh, maybe you can even turn off your rivers uh, that way and then maybe change your pet shed to like a boundary maybe 
so if you don't like how, how your boundary is looking what I would do is actually merge all these three click on edit start editing select all these three and go to editor and click on union so so once you do that the rest of the three the, the, the other three features become irrelevant you can delete them and then have like one boundary which is a lot cleaner and then edit stop editing save the edits so now we have one single feature representing the boundary so you can use like a regular boundary go to properties symbology click uh, if you want you can increase the line maybe change it to red or something so that it's a little more prominent and then bring it on move it to the top of everything else maybe turn off streets and curbs uh, maybe if you want to call out the buildings you can do that you know <clears throat> so on and so forth so so that's the map you need so you can export this map and uh, submit submit this on blackboard good luck thanks